It's a 12th game of December for the Stenline Belfast Giants. And this the fifth game against the Manchester Storm this season. Manchester Storm have won the first one. The Belfast Giants won the second. The third was tied. And only last week, the Stenline Belfast Giants took a 4-3 overtime win against the Manchester Storm in the Challenge Cup quarter final. The Giants are on a 10 game on beaten streak and will be looking to put another win on the board in the Elite League game this evening. The ceremonial puck drop this evening being done by Dave Whistle. It's great to see Mr. Whistle back in Belfast after he being the head coach of the Belfast Giants for the first three years of the franchise history, bringing two championships, a league championship and a playoff championship. Omar Pasha uses round the walls, giving chase, kept under the blue line by Walzer. Chance here for the Giants at the back post as James Demaray tried to get a a shot on it there, and there's going to be a whistle for a penalty. And the Belfast Giants are going to go short-handed here for a slashing call to James Demaray. It's not doesn't spend too many calls in the penalty box. But with 13.02 to go in the first, Manchester Storm get the first power play of the night. There's a chance here for Swindlehurst. Takes a shot blocked in front. There's a rebound effort. But there's a great defensive play there by Jeff Mason, that man we were just talking about. I'm sure his sister Susan will be watching back in Massachusetts. She watches all the... Belfast Giants games, and unfortunately for a chance, what a oh. save from Jackson Whistle. Demaray gave the puck away as he turned over the puck in his own zone, and the Giants are going to have another penalty here. Shot coming in, blocked in front, and just as the horn goes, the arm is up in the air, and there's going to be a holding call and a two-minute penalty to start the second period for the Manchester Storm. Again, there's a chance for Harding. Shot coming in, hits a body in front there. I think it was Martinelli. There's a chance here for the Storm. First save again, another chance for the Storm. It's right on the doorstep. Martinelli managed to keep it out. He's getting help from his goaltender. Shot the key and coming wide in the target. And it's all Manchester Storm here in the middle of this second period. Belfast Giants now try to break the other way. There's a chance here as Matt toes in behind the defence. Shot coming in. Good save by Clement. And he got the manage of the second rebound. Cornell and Dickin behind the net of Clement here. Mike Cornell. He's certainly a gamer. Won't step down from anybody. Not happy about something there. There come the Storm once again. They're into the Giants end. Tries Oof. to make a move around there, Derek Walzer. But great play by Walzer. There's a chance just in the path this time of Demaray. Demaray winds up, takes hey. a shot. It goes through the defenseman's legs. A little bit of fortuitous luck there on the Storm blue line. But the puck broke for James Demaray. He slap shots it past. Clement they had 10 28 to go in this second period. And the Belfast Giants. Maybe not deserving, but you'll certainly take it, Johnny. Yeah, that's super play by Demray there, getting the, 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 uh, the puck off a stick really quickly. A quick shot there. Goaltender wants that one back. Did it take a tip off? Did it take a wee deflection off Johnson's stick? Yeah, just a wee tip off the defender's uh, stick as it's going in there, and uh, not much the goaltender can do. Johnson with a chance to go the other way. Tries to feed it inside from Rutherford. One time effort there on the stick for Matt Toe, but it wasn't fed off. There's a chance in the back post. Lovely play oh. there by Jeff Mason, but Quinnell just couldn't put it home. Here comes Blair Riley. Blair Riley gets that in behind the defence. It takes a wicked bounce in front. There's another chance there for Blair Riley, but equal to it was Clement. As there was a real opportunity there, Johnny. The puck just bounced, bounced right up in front of him. Walzer now feeds it off to Demaray. Back to five on five. There's a chance here for the Storm. Connor Varney on a breakaway. Moves in a Jackson Whistle, takes a shot, but goes right over the top of the net. And that's a real gifted chance for the Manchester Storm. And he'll be very disappointed with that opportunity. Here comes the Storm once again. Bissonette, really good bit of skill there from Big Lad. Gives it to Johnson. Johnson gets back to Bissonette again. They play really well. They got a shot in front, tipped in front. And Taylor Dickin knocks it home in the second opportunity. And he was, we're, the defence were nowhere to be seen. And Taylor Dickin gets his own tip into the net. Gets a second chance for a rebound and puts it home with 43.9 seconds to go in this second period. We've got a 1-1 tie. Yeah, a super play with the Manchester Storm. We talked about it earlier. When the puck goes to the net, they do a very good job of getting to the net um, to get rebounds, to, to get deflections. Martinelli there was in the half wall there playing the, uh, 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 the other winger. Should have had help from the center in there. The Storm collect the puck. Karsha, my apologies, and throws it cross rink wide. Bissonette looking to get the jump on Matt Nickerson. Throws it right front. Great save. And it's run right through Jackson Whistle. My apologies. Karsha with the go-ahead goal. 43 seconds. Endless second period. 
and they've went from being one down with a minute to go in the second to a one goal sorry one goal lead at one minute more or less gone in the third Bissonnette has been outstanding tonight you see right before there a great defensive play and then coming back just driving wide fighting off his defender and dishing out front to Karchi all alone in front of the net uh, not a, a Belfast giant stick on him it's a good play and a good take from David Rutherford who's under pressure Chris Higgins again a little given goal there but Riley gets it back again Rutherford positions himself at the high slot Riley comes in behind Give and go again. Gets it out front and a great save by Clement. What a save from Clement going post to post. Kept his pad low down and an excellent save from a shot from David Rutherford. Hey, Blair Riley. Cross ice pass. There's a chance for Forney here. Forney turns, takes a big hit by Dickon and Dickon gets emptied by the same Blair Riley. Blair Riley not happy that Forney was hit, but Fred, Blair, you know, Mike Forney left himself open there for it, Johnny, and that's a a that's penalty a, being called that, that's, for charging. That's a poor, you can see the fans' reaction. That's a poor call by the referee there. We're into the last 40 seconds of play. Jim Vonnemere with a shot, hits the body in front, rebound after, there's another chance, right on the doorstep. And another opportunity there as he's tripped up right in front, but the referee doesn't see the play. And the 30 seconds remain, and gets it back to the point. A lot of traffic in front now of Clement. And that's one outside, it's a great defensive play there from Chapuco Johnny. Yeah, a super play there. Just determination. Belfast Giants players got to work hard here. 15 seconds remaining. Derek Walzer to Jim Vandermeer. Gets it back to Walzer. Needs traffic in front. Takes a shot. Oh. Lovely save by Clement again. And with nine seconds remaining, that's going to go the length of the ice. And that's going to be it for the Manchester Storm. A 2-1 victory in the SSE Arena. And backstop by Clement, who's absolute, been absolutely outstanding this evening, Johnny. Yeah, he played great for uh, uh, for the Manchester Storm, but his team played great in front of him. I think, uh, you know, there's a lot of players on that team that uh, should be really proud of their effort tonight. Well, Coach, it had been a good run of games, but it came to an end tonight. Uh, we knew it was going to be a tight game. Or were you expecting that? Oh, of course. They, uh, the way they play, I, I really do like their team. I've said it before. Uh, they're really, really competitive. I love their, their goaltending and their back end, and uh, they gave us a lot of trouble on the back end. But really played our forwards really tough, and uh, they all played us tonight. That's the bottom line. They deserve the two points, and, uh, you know, eventually it's going to happen. Too bad it happened on home ice, but, you know, we start fresh again. We've made a lot of ground. Is we got to take the positive from that and, you know, get ready for Brayhead and try to start another climb. It has been such a tough run of games. Uh, you know, as you say, a slip-up was maybe not inevitable is not the right word but uh you know it was going to come to an end well i think it goes back to the the, the five games and seven nights and then you get four again i just we look like the tired team and uh you know we didn't quit we had a real good third period we started the urgency started coming back we just weren't crisp and sharp and uh i think that comes to mental and sometimes that comes to tired sometimes that just comes to a lot of hockey in a, in a, in a hurry and Tonight we just uh, got to chalk it off of, uh, as a defeat. That's it. Forget about it. Take it tomorrow off. Rest up again and make sure we're ready and better better prepared than we were tonight. And play Brayhead.